I think you should chase what energizes you. Everyone okay. talks about passion, legacy, purpose. Yeah. Blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, blah. The one word to pay attention to is energy. I love that. That's it. Let's simplify this. Okay. So whatever energizes you, mm. naturally expands you, feels like possibility, is exciting to do. It may be scary. That doesn't matter. It has to do with how it makes you feel. Right. When you were in your 20s, money made you feel good. It expanded you. It energized you. Chasing the money, that was the game. That was your passion. That was your... Per There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. And I particularly want to say that to the women that are watching. Yeah, hell yeah. Because it is socialized into women not to chase success like that. Not to go after the money. And so if what energizes you is amassing wealth, go for it. But what ha and 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 the reason why I say that is because people talk about the word passion yeah. or purpose, right? And the truth is, it's not a person, place, or a thing. It's not. It is the feeling of being expanded and energized. Right. I if love you're that. pursuing your passion, it means that you wake up every day and are energized. Mm -hmm. So instead of trying to think. What's my purpose? What's my passion? What's my purpose? What's my passion? I don't know. Yeah. Instead of thinking like that, I want you instead to ask yourself, what's what could I do today that would energize me? What energizes me? If it's making money, figure out how to make money. Right. If it is making a difference, figure out how to make a difference. It could be in any single shape or form. But if it energizes you, that's what you need to follow. And what happens is that passion also, because it's energy, it dissipates over time. Because when you first start making money, it's f***ing thrilling. Yeah, yeah. But what happens is once you learn how to do something once, you can do it over and over again. And so it starts to become routine, yeah. which means it's no longer energizing. Right. Which is why every entrepreneur out there goes through the mode of chasing the money and then you hit the money that you need to make, then you're like, I'm not fulfilled. What's yeah. my purpose? I don't know what to do. Yeah, I went to I that. I need to find the light. You know, I did the, everybody yeah, does. Yeah. And it's because you were energized by the money and now you're not. Yeah. Now you got to be energized by the next thing. Yeah. And for you, it's clearly service. It's clearly yeah. making a difference. It's empowering others. And so when I look back on my trajectory, yeah. the thing that energizes me is making people feel like they matter. Oh, yeah. It's that simple. It is giving people hope in a situation where they don't have it. It is shining a light on the path forward when somebody feels stuck in darkness. And now that I know that those moments are the things that make me get up out of bed and energize me, I can trace back all the way to the moment of being a public defender in Manhattan. 22 years wow. old, straight out of law school, yeah. defending a kid who, and I met him for the first time. He had been arrested. I met him during night court in New York City. I was a brand new young attorney. This kid had been arrested. He had been arrested for throwing a champagne bottle in the middle of Times Square on New Year's Eve, and it had come down on a woman and had sliced her face open. Oh my God. And he had been ID'd and pointed at by her friends as allegedly the kid who had done it. And he was a junior in high school. High school kid on his way to go to junior college. Mom working hard, terrified, absolutely terrified. And I met him because he had been arrested and you know the family couldn't afford a lawyer and I was a legal aid criminal defense attorney and I was assigned to represent him. And I remember walking back into the cages behind the, the judge's bench, because if you look at a, at a judge in a courtroom, there's two doors typically, mm -hmm. to the, one to the right, one to the left. One of those doors leads to the hallway, which is what all the court officers and administrative workers walk to that's behind the court system. The other one leads to cages that are behind the judge, which is where they hold the inmates as they're waiting to come in and get arraigned or they're waiting you know, for right. the trial. 
And so I walked back there and I called out this kid's name and I just remember him asking, is my mom out there? Is my mom out there? And I said, look, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to make you two promises. I'm going to get you out of here tonight and I'm going to do everything I can. He was like, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I swear to God, I didn't do it. And um, I promised him, I said, I'm going to get you out of here tonight and I'm going to do everything I possibly can to clear your name. And I remember the relief in his face and he yeah. said, you believe me? I said, of course I believe Gave him you. hope. Holy shit. That moment, my heart blew open. And it's those moments where you give somebody hope, where you show them the path forward, where you're stronger and clearer in that moment than they are. So now they can be. Yeah. And that's what I show up and do every single day. Yeah.